I am Dr. Rania Jamal Al Din, Female Fellow 2020. My project is screening survey of pediatric visual impairment, awareness of prevalence and management conducted by medical students, supervised by Professor Dr. Yasser Wazir. My study is addressing a local community problem that has a great impact on the effectiveness of the community and lack the needed attention in Egypt. As according to the WHO, there is one million blind and three million visually impaired in Egypt, and yet nearly 80% of the causes leading to visual problems could be easily avoided and or cured through awareness, early diagnosis, and accurate medical treatment, which Egypt lacks. The aim of my study is estimation of the awareness of the community members about the pediatric visual impairment, the importance of visual evaluation for the pediatric age group, presence of avoidable causes, and the availability of low vision aids help, followed by awareness about the key points conducted by trained medical students of Ayn Shams University, targeting community members of Cairo government. The methodology included training of medical student team through online workshops, presentation, and reading materials, followed by the three awareness surveys distributed to the, to the community members. According to the responses to the pre awareness survey, the key points are highlighted for the awareness process. That is, will be followed by the post awareness survey. I added to the, my, to the project launching of a Facebook page about low vision aids, providing information about the problem and available help. The results a team of seven students have been trained on the main points of the problem, how to form the survey and awareness processes. The awareness process conducted by students through online applications in the form of reading materials, voice recording, and short videos. The Facebook Low Vision page had 136 followers till now and received about 15 inquiries. The B awareness survey received about 110 responses. With the analysis of the survey answers, the key points of the awareness process are highlighted. The most important is that most of the responses agree that those children should be integrated in mainstream schools with mandatory training of the educational service providers. As this disability can lead to child inability to achieve his goals, most of the responses believe that media and social media are effective methods to increase the awareness. Awareness through short videos and reading materials are conducted and ongoing. That will be followed by most, most awareness survey. As a conclusion, increasing the awareness of the problem through media and social media is a, major, is a major contributory factor in helping those children engagement in mainstream schools and normal activities. Thank you.